And welcome back to Boulder, everyone. I'm Gary Shapiro. This is Dixie Casford. She's with the Boulder Resource Center. It is a mental health center that has been helping victims and people that have been touched by this tragedy over the last year. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for Talk having me. Talk a little bit about some of the resources that you guys have available. Sure. Out at the Resource Center, we it's important for us to have a variety of resources um, so that we can meet the needs of people where they are. Um, we have AccuDetox, we have some art therapy, some movement therapy, there's people that they can talk to. The comfort dogs have definitely been a big hit. So really just trying to have a variety that uh, can serve the person when they come in and in, in whatever need they have. And I know you've been busy over the last year. You've seen a lot of people. What kinds of people have been have been coming in to get help? We've seen uh, both people who were at King Supers at the time and community members who are impacted by it. And that, that's what we're here for is, is both of those. And anybody who's been impacted in some way um, can come in and um, find out about the resources, find out what's available there, what's available in the community for them to, to help them with, um, with what they're feeling about the event. I know we were talking earlier, uh, this is funded by uh, several, different, uh, uh, several different grants. And you were mentioning that after Columbine and after the Aurora Theater shooting, these mental help centers, these resource centers, stay open quite a long time. They do, Gary. They, they stay open because research has found that not everybody has an immediate impact from an event like this. And so we want to make sure that whenever that time comes for somebody where they decide that they might need a little bit of help to get through what they're experiencing, that there's still a resource center available for them. There's a place they can go to find out and get help and they don't feel like they've been forgotten or that the community's moved on from the event when they're still having impacts and dealing with it. So. Um, um, this this funding that we have right now will get us through three years and then we're anticipating you know having conversations to see what happens beyond that but it's really important to stay not just right after the event but in the long term for people I know it's been a difficult year for people here in Boulder County with the fires and with with the shooting here uh, have you seen uh, uh, more people since the one year mark is coming up on the King super shooting you know, it ebbs and flows. Uh, there's certain events that will be more difficult for some than others. And so we're expecting to see an uptick in the, the folks visiting the center um, with this anniversary coming up, with this remembrance coming up, um, and then in the days after. Yeah. And if people need to get a hold of you, where do they find you and what can they do? Uh, they can come out 2935 Baseline Road and um, they can just walk in. You don't have to have an appointment. You don't have to know exactly what you want. You walk in and it is a very grounding and healing place and people are there to meet you and support you and whatever your needs are. Well, thank you so much for what you do. And Dixie, thanks for coming out and talking a little bit about it this morning. Sure. Thanks for having Appreciate me. It. Appreciate okay. it. All right. Back to you.